All right, you guys, welcome back to another round of uh, Go Battle League. This is a long format presentation. Let's go ahead and jump into it. This time, we're going to be starting off with a uh, Master League battle against Kim Earth. We've got Mel Metal leading against the Garchomp here. Let's see if we can try to catch them with a smart switch. Nope, they hesitated, so they kind of played it close to the hip. Of course, they go for a Santum. I kind of saw that coming, but I kind of did not expect the Mewtwo. So now I have to make a choice to burn both of my shields on the side strikes. There's the first one. We're just going to go ahead and charge up towards Crunches to uh, force shield on their end. And of course, they shield right back. They're going to follow it up with a side strike. Ooh, there we go. Goes through. Well, actually, it doesn't go through because I shield it. So both of my shields are gone. We're going to go ahead and go for another Aqua Tail here. And can we burn it down? No. It has a tiny sliver of health left. So we're just going to go ahead and roll with what we got here. Both shields are down. We over farm. And then here we're going to play it super offensive here. We're going to fire off three superpowers. There's the first one. We're going to go ahead and fire off the second one. Connect. Boom. There we go. Oh, nice timing with the beat there. Anyway, um, third superpower. Boom. We switch. Switch over to Garchomp. They're going to go ahead and go for a Sand Tomb here. Oh, it's an Earth Power. Does some nice little chip damage there. We're up against an extra drill, but we were hit with a little bit of a lag spike here and then go straight for the Earth Power. Is it going to connect? Boom, there it goes. And again with the beat drop. It's perfectly timed. With All right, so now, while we're waiting for the next battle to pop up, I'm just gonna go ahead and shout out today's affiliate link. Today, it's gonna be Coinbase. Sign up with Coinbase, deposit up to $100, and then you get free Bitcoin, I get free Bitcoin. Plus, you can do all those little learning platforms. I also personally use Coinbase for uh, the debit card, I just get some 4% cash back XLM. If you have any questions about that, ask it in the comment below. All right, on to this next battle. But yeah, check the affiliate link to Coinbase uh, for that. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be Swampert against Melmetal. Let's see, they fire off a Hydro Cannon, and then after that, they're gonna go ahead for another Hydro Cannon. What else does Swampert do besides Hydro Cannon spam? Oh yeah, it has Earthquake. Yeah, so good against Steels. Anyway, fire off another superpower here. There we go. And then we save that to charge up and then in comes Togekiss, but um, thankfully we don't have Dragon Breath here because this is why we have Waterfall, since I'm used to running into Togekisses on the switches. And they're probably expecting me to have Dragon Breath here, but nope, not right here. There we go. They're gonna go ahead and go for like some sort of like uh, aerial ace. Yep, there we go. We have a little bit of health left. We take each other out. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Garchomp. They bring in Dialga. All right, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and go straight for a sand tomb here. Are they gonna shield it? Boom, they do. So we bring in Melmetal, and then we're just gonna fire off a superpower. Boom, with a defense drop, takes it out. All right, next up, let's get one more superpower before we get taken out here. There we go. Chip damage takes us down, and now it's just down to a Swamper. We have two shields, so we're just gonna shield both of these, hit them with a Dragon Tail on this next one. There we go. They fire off the second one. We shield it. Hit him with another Dragon Tail, and then that's going to be game. All right, now we're on to the next battle here. Up against uh, Jeffrey12. They're going to be leading with an Extra Trill. I'm going to be leading with a Gyarados. They're going to go ahead and fire off, what is that, Mud Shots? Yeah, it looks like Mud Shots based on the speed of that charge move. So there we go. After that, we go ahead and go for Waterfall Spam. Uh, we're going to go for an Aqua Tail here just because we want to avoid any unnecessary shields. But they went ahead and burned theirs. That's the other thing. It was perfectly like timed so that they were pressured to shield because they wanted to get more one more Rock Slide launched. So yep, yeah, in comes a Togekiss. We're going to go ahead and fire off some Aqua Tail spam here after they most likely get an Aerial Ace or an Ancient Power off. And then we can sacrifice the Gyarados from here because it did its job of taking out Excadrill. But instead we go for a safe switch here. They bring in Machamp. Machamp, Machamp. So we fire off a superpower here. And then they're gonna go ahead and go for a cross chop. Boom, there we go. And then we're gonna launch one more superpower. That connects, and then down we go. In comes uh, Garchomp here. And then there's gonna be the cross chop yet again. And then we go for, for those. And what next? They're gonna go ahead and use their charge move here. There's the ancient power connecting. And we're gonna go ahead and try to go for some uh, sand tomb shenanigans here. There we go. We get the defense drop. We're gonna fire off some waterfalls. We have just enough to get an aqua tail, and then that's gonna be game for this one. That was a close one. 
Kind of close. Pretty close. Yeah, it was a pretty good one. All right, so now we're up against a Garchomp versus Gyarados lead. This is still Waterfall. They have Dragon Tail. We're hitting each other for neutral damage. They have Sand Tomb here, so we can just go ahead and let this go through. There we go. And then we're going to fire off an Aqua Tail. I'm pretty sure I decided to make a switch here. Let's see if I remember this right. Yep, right into Garchomp because um, that's chip damage. And then they're going to go ahead and go for a Sand Tomb. If they switch out to something that counters Garchomp, it's not the end of the world because I mainly brought him brought Garchomp in to counter their Garchomp, so whatever's next. There was the Earth Power. Hopefully we were going to get a Shield Bay, but nope. So in comes Melmetal. We're going to go ahead and let them launch their attacks here. There's a Draco Meteor. Takes out like half my health. We go ahead and overcharge here. Then we're going to go ahead and go straight for a Super Power, thinking that they think I'm not. I'm just going to Shield Bay, and then, hey, it works. So we're going to go ahead and go for a Rock Slide here to see if they Shield. They don't. They just let Diablo go down. In comes the Mewtwo. We're going to go ahead and go for a Rock Slide and then switch out immediately after. There we go. There's a Rock Slide. And in comes my Gyarados. I have two shields. They have one. And then here comes the Aqua Tail. They shield it. Next up is going to be their Psy Strike Spam Shenanigans. There we go. There's the first Psy Strike. And then there's the second Psy Strike. We're going to go ahead and see what we can pull off here. Uh, nope, they're going to take us out. And then all that's left, it's down to Melmetal now. Can we get to a Rock Slide before they can? There's the Garchomp. We have to go ahead and go for the Rock Slide here. And then cross our fingers that it's just enough. Nope, it's not enough. So they're going to get the Psy Strike and they're going to get us on this match. So good on them. They got one on us. All right, let's move on to the next battle here. It's going to be Gyarados leading up against a Dragonite. Uh, we go for Waterfall, but we're going to get resisted damage, so we went ahead and switched over to Garchomp. Since they decided to bring in Excadrill, we're going to let this drill run go through. Since it's going to be Mudshot, it's going to do very little damage. And then next up, there's our Earth Power. We anticipated them to resist it, but then they didn't. So, joke's on me. They go for another drill run, we decide to shield it, and then we're just going to go ahead and charge up towards another Earth Power shield here we burn both of our shields on the excadrill and then after that followed up with a sand tomb cross our fingers that they do shield it there's a defense drop in comes the dragonite and then now for what we have in the back which is melmetal and then of course they see that coming they switch over to garchomp we have a good advantage here because they pretty much only have earth power and um earthquake since that's pretty much the moveset that everyone's running nowadays so all he can really do is a sand tomb and uh dragon tail so there we go, it's a damage, it's a race to the finish line here. Um, let's see, they do another Sand Tomb. I followed up with an Aqua Tail. We just need to take this thing out so that we have a chance because um, it's gonna be Melmetal versus Dragonite and historically that doesn't work well in uh, Dragonite's favor. So in order to actually make sure I get this thing down, I just take the superpower because I know that two minus one uh, rock slides are gonna be still enough damage to take out this uh, Dragonite. Plus, uh, we can also survive any Draco Meteors or Hurricanes that they throw our way because it's going to be double both resisted. But they go for Dragon Claw and they forfeit. Alright, so now for the last battle. This one's going to be a great league treat. Alex, this is for you if you're watching. You've been asking for Team Maldino for a month and here's one where I actually win. Um, this is the only one that I do on my main. The rest is going to be done on my mini because it's just too freaking hard to win with this. Anyway, Audino switched into a Galvantula, they switch in with a Ninetales, and then we're going to farm up as much as we can towards a Hyper Beam. And they go for the Weather Ball. I try to go for a Hyper Beam to see if they can take the bait. So there we go, we shield here, they go for the Weather Ball, and I go for the Hyper Beam. Do they shield it? Yes, they do. So that was kind of a waste. Now Audino is going to be shield uh, switch bait now. So we bring in Shadow Hypno, they go for the Weather Ball. And then we fire off a Fire Punch. Boom. Does a nice chunk of damage. And he switches out to Galvantula. Goes for a lunge. I figured let's just shield this up. And go for another Fire Punch. So that we can take out this threat. Because uh, Galvantula is usually a threat to the teams that I build. 9 times out of 10. Alright, next up we have a Swampert. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let it take out our Hypno here. Oh, by the way, thanks again for watching, everybody. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when I drop new videos. And then we switch to Sableye. We time it perfectly. They have Audino soak the Hydro Cannon. And then now it's just Sableye. They switch to Ninetales. We time that perfectly. We don't take the bait on using charge moves. Far off the foul play. We get a shield here, and then they forfeit.